Now hold on, hold on. Now I'm saying I had to, I had to go get just a little slight drip, just a little slight some calm, you know, black tea with the chain and a and a little watch and it. You know what I'm saying? Slight, bro. I couldn't come up here looking dusty, bro. What you got there, Ashley? Huh? Bunch of hopefuls. Okay. Trying to ride your coattails. Doing, uh, well, my shirt ah, wrinkly, though. And here he is. This first half the pack. Don't worry about my it. My name is Jocelyn Davies, executive producer for Top Takes Daily. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. As I was telling Jocelyn earlier, uh, we are open to any discussion involving one Chef Owens, but we do expect those questions to be respectful. And if you wish to move on quickly from any given question, we expect that desire to be honored. And as I was just explaining to Miss St. Germain, this is a reputable program on a billion dollar network. We take <laughs> procedures and standards very seriously and will, of course, treat MP No with snacks up. in the dressing room. Oh, my gosh. I will take care of Second it. Second day this week. Got it. Yeah. It's done. Chips, it's a billion dollar cookies, network. crackers, popcorn. Got I'm it. Not got it. For Thank much. you so much. 60 seconds. Thank you. Very reputable. That's Stan right there. <laughs> we'll, of course, treat MP with the utmost respect and professionalism at all times. Will you guys have snacks? Oh, yeah, we got snacks. Hey, and I'm good. <laughs> and where the fruit snacks at, then? Jocelyn, I need Let them. me know some. Okay. This is not the day for Kendrick to try to go viral over anything. Are we clear? Ash, like, loosen up a little bit. I can handle Perkins. That's no problem. See? And he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Oh, of that, I'm sure. <laughs> but I can take care of myself. Okay, let's not forget that. <laughs> okay. You ready to head a set now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's head over. There's no problem, bro. Like, chill a little bit. Everyone, I'd like to introduce MP. Hey, hey, how's it going? Sam Woods. What's good with you, my boy? You. Thanks, man. Of course, you know JJ. My what's good with you, my boy? You. JJ. Hey, what's going on, superstar? Awkward. All right, you're going to sit right here with Jason. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> <Thanks. laughs> bro, bro, me right. and Thanks, my player ain't right, say everybody. nothing, bro. Like, bro, we know, what you, we know what you be on, bro. Uh... Four, three, and welcome back to Top Takes Daily. And for our next segment, we are joined live in studio by the guy everybody is talking about, our very special guest, MP. Welcome to the program. My man, thank you guys for uh, having me on. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us. Now, I know this might be a sensitive subject, but I just want to get right into it. We all saw what happened on draft night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but... We haven't heard your side of the story. So I'm wondering, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of, of a mixed reaction like that on, on what should be the most enjoyable night of your life? Nah, I got to, you know what I'm saying? Keep it calm. That just comes with the territory, you know? Like, we make a lot of money, and it's all because of those passionate fans out there night in and night out, coming into the games and showing their support. It's because of them, you know what I'm saying? And yes, the fans are free to express their feelings however way they want, but it don't matter to me. Uh, I'm, I mean, are we serious right now? Oh Listen, my God. Think, with all due respect, <laughs> do you expect us to believe that? If I'm my own so-called fans uh -huh. were booing me, that wouldn't sit right with me at all. Yo, bro, you didn't even have fans, it, bro. It, it doesn't bother me, you know what I'm saying? Like. I know in the long run, people will come around and, uh, you know, see what I'm all about, you know, and that's just giving everything that I got to this game, you know, um, not only to the team, but to this, this, this city, man. You know, it's, it's my job. Proving my worth to these fans is my job, you know? So I know right now they may be booing, but soon enough, they're going to be cheering for me. MP, let's stay with the draft for a moment. Mm -hmm. A big part of the reaction to your selection was the fact that Shep Owens, your biggest rival, was still on the draft board. That's right. But a, a lot of people think he has the higher upside due to his athleticism and the fact that he has loads of untapped potential as a relative newcomer to this game, whereas you've been trying to work on your skill set for the last decade plus. How would you respond to people who think you've got the higher floor but the lower ceiling? Mm. Mmm. Mmm. That's kind of hard, though. He an athlete. I'm a hoover. That's kind of tough. But media, media train. Remember, I'm gonna see him in person, y'all. Look, look, look. I'm gonna see him in person. In person, it's gonna be totally different. All types of static. I understand but on where the show, that comes from, but I don't share it. You know what I'm saying? Keep that? it cool. It's because I gotta be level headed. About a lot more than athletic ability. I mean. What is it all about? Like, what is your opponent doing? 
how can you stop them? What are your, your teammates' strengths? How can you empower them to play the best basketball that they can play? Almost you like know? a chess match. Absolutely. A complete chess match. Thank you. Um, athleticism is a tool, uh, but that's all it is. It's a tool. It's like giving a, like a power drill to a baby. But that doesn't mean that the baby can build you a house just because he has that power drill. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, 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 time out, time out. Did I mess your head up with that one? Are, are you calling Shep Owens oh. a baby? <laughs> I think so. No, 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 don't. What no, I'm saying is- No, instigating Hall of Fame. So, let's not read into that a little too much here. MP, you know we keep it real on here. I got to ask you, man to man, how do you respond to Shep Owens calling you out on his reality show? Oh, wow. This dude took shots at you. Mm -hmm. He took shots at your family. Right. He even took shots at your girl. I don't know who that lady is. What do I don't you know say to something is. like that? Honestly, bro, like I said, bro, level-headed, bro. I know y'all thinking, like, bro, in person, he going to get the business, bro. You know, I, I'm going to say this as calmly as possible. Facts. Because at the end of the day, it's disappointing to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, basketball is a place where you express joy. Yeah, I want to beat my opponent, my opponent, don't get me wrong. So in the heat of the moment, words do get exchanged. But to talk about another man's, another man's family? It's crazy. Like, fam, I'm embarrassed for him. My man has a lot of growing up to do. Well, what I want to know and we want to know, the next time you two meet, are mm -hmm. you going to exchange words? Are y'all going to exchange words? <laughs> uh, I don't know. But I'm sure there's going to be a discussion that I can promise you. You know, I'm not expecting him to change his stripes. You know, he is who he is. You know, so when someone shows you who they are, you believe them. Mm. That's it. You know, that's what my parents told me, and that's just how I live. Well, this has been unforgettable, and I'd love to continue this conversation. But unfortunately, we are out of time. MP, thank you for joining Wait, us. Wait, so that's it's it? It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, yeah. And we got to wrap things up. But you have been a tremendous sport, and we really appreciate you answering the tough questions. We wish you all the best, you and your family and your girl. Uh, coming up next, we talk bro, I don't early know, lady, season contenders jokes, and pretenders. But first, this commercial break. Nah, bro, I feel like that was kind of smooth, bro. I feel like it was smooth, because look, I'm going to see Buddy in person. As soon as I see him, it's hang, 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 hang. I'm telling you, bro, it's over. It. That's for the brand deals. Like, bro, I'm trying to get that Nike deal. Like, come on, nah. Can't be talking about I'm going to throw hands with Buddy. Excuse me, 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 excuse me. Bro, why don't y'all just standing here, bro? Do something with y'all life, bro. You ain't got no drip, bro. Weenie head, bro. I'm on you, bro. The shirt nice with nothing else, bro. What am I still fed, bro? Your shoes do not match the shirt, my boy. Anyway. Bro, who are you supposed to be? Jerome from State Farm? I'm like, I'm on you, bro. I'm sorry, let me get let me get to this game, bro. I'm up here roasting people. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. See, y'all the reason people be sneaking into the arenas, bro. Like, bro, I got all this jewelry on me. I ain't even had to take it off. Yeah, yeah, y'all both getting fired. Hold on, your boy had to put the fit on. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Your boy had to put the fit on real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. oh, yeah. You know, we walking in. We walking in. Hold on. Give me, give me two. Give me two. Give. Y'all ain't getting me. Y'all ain't. Y'all Y'all ain't. My boy, you trying to, you trying to snap me up for the ground? No, you not trying. Y'all not trying to. Y'all not trying to. I put a. I got a fit on. Y'all, y'all got a fit on. Yeah. All right. I remember this. When I'm dropping 40 on people. When I, hey, put, make sure I get this. When I'm dropping 40, y'all gonna, y'all gonna snap me up. Y'all ain't trying to snap me up now. It's cool. Don't worry about it. No, I put a foot on for nothing. It's cool. It's cool. It's all, it's all right. It's cool beans and collard greens. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I got the end game drip too. What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? Can't dab you up. I dab you up spiritually, my boy. Rona, Rona, Rona. Lay y'all, lay y'all. Nah, oh, yeah, you see me. You see what I'm here to do. Ooh. Oh yo. Yeah. Ah. I let off. Give me another. Give me another shot. Give me another shot. Ah. Come on, sir. Ah. Let early. Let early. Let early. Let go. Never whipping a Tesla. Uh, is that ya? I'm gonna say, I can't get a ball? Yeah, we ain't, we ain't winning this game, coach. I ain't making no one shot. 
But I look good. <laughs> now I ain't gonna lie, I did put my little stats up a little, just a little bit, just a little something. Might be a little fat long with the speed looking like high da Ooh. And they got that stamina. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Triz. Big Triz. Oh yeah. Too strong. Too strong. Too strong. Mm, on that. On that. On all that. You see it? Hold on. Oh yeah, Lamb. It's me. Buckets! What you talking about? Shots be bu 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 butter. Each time I. Oh yeah, I got the help. I ha I had to. That's a good foul for the help. That's a good foul. Nothing easy. Team player. Oh yeah, he suck. He ain't got no shot. Coach. Coach, that one. That coach, that one a good foul, coach. Why coach hating on me? Oh, it's me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, it's me. What you doing, my boy? Oh, my God. I ain't, see, look. That's why I ain't even know I was bouncing bad like those. Hold on. Let me go. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? We out. We out. It's me. Hey. Hey. On his head. Hey, I'm gonna send them to you, PJ. If you get past me, I'm sending them to you. Oh nah, this ain't what I wanted. Cause I seen that. Oh yeah, it's me. It's me. Oh yeah, PJ. PJ on the PJ. Come on now. Hold on, I'm trying to get my assist a little bit. Hold on, let me. Him, him, him. Oh. Oh yeah, we on that. Uh, watch out. Watch out. Uh, what you mean? That was a good lane. Oh yeah, I got me. Yeah, we out of the... Hold on. Get the stay on the back. Get the stay on the back. On that. Hold on. Screen up. Big screens. We out. Inside. Ah! I set you up. It's cool. I set you up for failure. Just a little bit, though. It's a shame. They could have used this run early. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the game's over, bro. Take me out, bro. Y'all still lost, bro. I don't care, bro. I don't care, bro. I don't care, bro. You still, you still, you still lost, bro. I don't care, bro. I'm like. Bro, who is this old woman calling me babe? Bro, you is not Maria. Candace. You guys just dominated every aspect of the game tonight. You look like you were having fun out there. What were you guys talking about? Bro, we was talking about like what we gonna eat after the game. <laughs> yeah, you know, we were talking about, you know, who we listening to right now. You know what I'm saying? The game was already over, so we was on to the next thing, you know, so but of course we were supporting the guys on the court. <laughs> How does coach feel about you playing DJ during the game? <laughs> Coach is all the way with it. <laughs> you know, he's down with the streets. You know, he's always telling me about, you know, some new hip hop artist he's into right now. <laughs> really? We wouldn't have expected that. Thanks so much. Of course. I won't talk to Candace today, bro. Big win tonight. What's it like when the other team waves the white flag so early? Yeah, <laughs> it's good to get a one without having all that drama at the end. I'm definitely not going to lie about that. But, uh, you know, you get to kick your feet up a little bit. And, of course, coach is happy. So, you know, your boy's happy with that. How did you guys open up such a big lead? Yeah, I thought we spaced the floor really well. You know, guys gave me some room to operate. My teammates were knocking down their shots. <laughs> guys were really shooting with conviction tonight. And uh, I feel like that confidence really showed. Yeah, it sure did. Thank you again. Of course. Well, I be cheesing so hard, like I just got some brand new veneers. Saw you on Chop Takes Daily, boss. You were great. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta call me boss, though. You can call me uh, Bae. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boo. You know what I'm saying? Eddie. That's my name. So, uh, you know. <clears throat> it's okay. a little bit cramped in here, isn't it? Oh. Well. 
<laughs> we would be happy to have this meeting in your office, Ashley, but you have a strict no chairs policy. That's right. Yeah, and I'm a male on this one. I'm a big well, fan I'm of chairs. Pro chairs. I think that the, <laughs> the boss girl would have a bigger office, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Nothing more, but nothing less. Should we go to hers? No, no. Then why don't we just start the meeting then? That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, so like Ricky told you, okay, we're gonna slow play the whole win over the entire city thing, but that doesn't mean we can't get started, all right? Okay. Since the narrative is a media invention, we think that steering the narrative through savvy use of the media should be our top priority. I mean, that makes per perfect sense. Absolutely. What's the plan? We have a three-prong attack. Three. Prong one, Lozo the Crown. Yep. Excuse me? Lozo the Crown, a government name, Lorenzo Alexander, okay? He is by far the most influential fan of the team on Twitter. By far. And he is solidly and tragically hashtag Team Shep all the way. What is that? Yeah. He works at a corner store not too far from here. What? Uh, What's that you said face? a corner store. Yep. <laughs> you What's wrong with the corner store? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Don't start thinking that you're better than people because you can put a ball in a hole. Okay. You know what? You're right. You got it. I'm I know I'm right. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to walk over to the corner store, introduce yourself, talk to him, hit him with that MP charm that we all know and love. Yeah, Somewhere yeah. in there. And pretty soon he's going to be singing your praises on social media. Yep. Okay, so uh, what are the other prongs? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Prong number two. Mm -hmm. I've gotten in with uh, Jake Duvall. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> For real? Yes. Let's I mean, go. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like... That is so tough. He's like the OG around here, he's man. He's the last real movie star. He's, you know, the unofficial team mascot or whatever. Whatever. Ooh, Let's he's awesome. Rain it in a little bit, okay? I pulled some strings. I got a meeting for the two of you to get together. We're going to see if he can boost your cred with the fan base. Gosh, let's bit. go, man. I'm a huge fan. Okay. I... Calm down. Right? Just a little bit. Okay, gotcha. Sorry. Got a little hype. Okay. I see that. Uh, third prong. A third prong. We set up a puff piece interview for you with someone who can just throw you a lot of softballs. Yeah, we're still setting it up, but it should be a piece of cake, something you can do in your sleep. Okay. No big deal. Meantime, go introduce yourself to Lozo the Crown. Yes. At the corner store, right? At the corner store. You got it. Bro, why am I acting like something wrong with the corner store? I'm trying to get that perfect bag Look, of Doritos and a, and a body on me. What you mean? Fan base. And his engagement is through the roof. So, yeah. He's also got an 80% likability rating with people who identify as city fans yeah. online. So, laugh all you want, but getting Lorenzo on your side is the only way you're going to deal with that problem with Shep you got. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I hear you. Yeah. I will go see Lozo at the, uh, at the corner store. Uh, you guys want anything? Some batteries, <laughs> gum, Snickers. <laughs> okay, water. just bring back that beautiful smile when you come back, and we can talk about next. Bro, time. why is this old lady flirting with me, bro? I don't know her, bro. Thanks, Ashley. Like someone come get their mom, bro. She's like 57. 